Welcome back, guys, to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, where last episode, after gathering all the materials for the Lurulin Village Restoration Project, allowing the repair of the building's foundations, we still had a little work to do, as we went from structure to structure to perform the necessary reconstruction work, bringing the village back to life. We then found Dad's blue shirt, obtaining the island lobster shirt for ourselves, and now look to cook for Rattled Rallera. Oh my goodness, where's this cork? It's gonna haunt me now. Oh my goodness! Found it. I'm amazed I didn't notice that. Oh, the, you know, the time we were here the first time. There it is. I think I have to dive, though, right? Oh. That's going to be more problematic, then. Wait a second, what if I use some Zora Ingenuity? I only have to make it dive dive, right? And... Okay, that failed. Now that didn't work. There we go. Setting a, set a mess. All right, go on spice and everything nice. So the actual shop is here, right? Right. I say that when noticing the big jar on it. So go on spice is 16 a pop. I will take them all. Now I need a cooking. Where can I cook? Thank you very much, Lee. So, I need... Uh, yeah, I forgot about the rice, didn't I? Yes, yeah, so I need to go get second rice first. Hopefully in the restaurant, they'll have... a place for me to use it. Yeah, we've only got six shrines done this session, but it was always going to be like this when I had other objectives. We've got a few pieces of gear. More Koroks, of course. But whenever we come to a town in the townhouse quest, we're going to spend a lot of time in that area. Oh, no, wait, it's going to stay up there. I'm here for you, grass. <laughs> Probably gonna need more rice than that. <laughs> what you use, use an X. Yeah. Oops, don't wanna do that. That will actually hurt the weapon. Is free rice enough? Four rice enough? I mean I definitely think it's enough now. But when I'm here, I may as well get some extra. Maybe an axe is the correct Hylian rice getting thing. Feels like it, doesn't it? And now we just need to find a cooking pot. So it's either the armored porgy or the mighty porgy. Hylian rice. Goron. Spice. I wonder if those logs were there the whole time. Nothing. There we go. There's a cooking pot out front. You said everything is mine, so surely me cooking in front of the restaurant isn't going to be a bad thing. That's what I'd like to think. So one of these, one of these, and armored porgy. I've got more of. Where's fish on the list? Fish. Mm -hmm. 
I threw the whole jar in. <laughs> Tough seafood curry. Don't tell me there's a standard porgy. Hmm. Intoxicating spell, is that? It is indeed seafood curry. Ah, oh, this smell. This is the dish I've been dreaming of. You made it for me. Thank you so much. And now I eat. Oh, that spicy flavor balanced by a strong note of umami. It's just too delicious. Ah, oh, so satisfying. At last, I can start thinking of ways to draw in visitors. Let's see. Wait. Oh, no. Hot, hot. The gold spice is burning me up. I can't focus when my whole body's on fire. What do I do? I need a gust of wind to cool me down. Uh, mm, does this count? Uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Technically, it was a gust of wind. Just might have been a more violent version. So I need a Korok leaf. So to get that, I kind of need to start cutting stuff up. But wait a second. Oh, I, I just need to put a f leaf on a thing. Which I should have the leaves. <laughs> right? God, where do, there we go. Court frond. You can eat them. Attach it to a stick and it can be used as a fan. Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. I've got a stick. An extra durable fan for you. Ah, much better. Now I'm nice and cool. Wait a sec. I, I got an idea. A flag. We can make a flag as a symbol for the village. That'll help draw in visitors and liven up the community. Gotta start working on the design. Okay, okay. This here, that there. Piece of cake. Satisfactory job, if I do say so myself. Thanks. Really, I couldn't have dreamed up such a great idea without your help. Now I think I'll go liven up Lurlin Village with a new flag. Here, yeah, it's the fabric I use for the flag. Maybe you'll find some other use for it. We've got a Lurlin Village flag to fly with. Rattle Drillera is complete. Alright, we've got another quest over here about a new attraction. Hey now, what's on your mind? You're thinking about teaming up with your pal Bolson again, aren't you? I'm not surprised our chemistry is out of this world, yeah? Funny thing is, I was just talking to the mayor about creating some kind of new attraction in Lurlin. Mm. Yes, I'd like it to be some kind of entertainment. Something everyone could really get behind and enjoy. Mm. You've traveled all over the place, haven't you? Any marvelous ideas you care to share? A floating hotel? Offer underwater tours? Host of water rally? I mean, you've got a hotel. I guess it's a water rally, right? <laughs> What's the rally race on the water? Clever, very clever, don't you think? Oh. Uh, well, it would be a brand new form of water-related amusement. <laughs> I could do the trick. Yes, in fact, I think that's it. Oh. I seem to recall Hudson saying something about inviting some hotshot professional racers to help develop some new vehicle. If we could work with them. Oh. Hudson, do you mean the fellow from that Tarrytown place in Northeast Nakala? I'd love to invite the racers here once they finish their work there. Though I do wonder if real professional racers will be willing to come to a place like this. Well, they have finished the work. So you're going to need me to go over there and sort that out. Hmm. Yep, you're going to need me to be the middleman, right? Well, there's a quest line we have already completed. And we can kind of drop by Tarrytown in the meantime. Drop a warp there, I think. And deliver... Deliver some words. I know what I'm thinking. I'll get there. The picture of the battle talus. See? <laughs> Told you I'd get there. Do I want to buy any more rooms so I can drop some weapons off? Or I don't know. Look at my beautiful home. Hey, let's chat there. 
Just chilling out. Having a wonderful day. Picture of daughter. Well, that's whenever I go back to uh, Grudu Village at this point, I might find that. But that's not even a quest. It might just be a nice thing you can do. It's not on the uh, the top list of my concerns. Thank you for all your help with the monster sculptures. I've got to admit, I'm feeling pretty inspired. If you have any other monster pictures, please show them to me. I'm happy to make all sorts of sculptures. <laughs> A grin is sure to grow between my ears. If you have any monster pictures, Hudson can use to make sculptures. All right, so battle talents you needed. Uh, that's a Hinox. <laughs> that's a boss moblin. <laughs> Do you want that one? Like, where's the... There it is. <laughs> uh, this is the wonderful, lovable battle talents I was hoping for. Uh, may we borrow this picture? Of course you can. Right. Oh, get it built. Sun and done. How big, though? Mm -hmm. We can quality blink and we're done. That's why every son chooses Hudson Construction. Yes. <laughs> it's fairly big, then. No, it's not actually now I think about it. Use my imagination to fill in the blanks. <laughs> You didn't add the bacoblins, then. It, it's perfect. This monster sculpture doesn't have a single floor. Ooh. Just like you asked. Oh, it is a bit bigger, then. I would make a grin grow between my ears if you could select the perfect spot on the stage for this sculpture. Ooh. Will someone decorate the stage for me? <laughs> it's pretty cool, all in all. Obviously, the perfect place for it is there. Like it was got one leg up, too. <laughs> Oh, I've got a rule against making that kind of decision. Too much responsibility, not my thing. There you go. Ah, what did you say? <laughs> Looks pretty good. See how it blends in there with the stage? Exactly the kind of clever camouflage you expect from a battle talus. Such artistry. It's exactly what I was hoping for. Ooh. There's no way anyone would know it's a monster at first glance. <laughs> yes, now let's put it before the eyeballs in the village. This is a moving fortress of death. Please stay away if you see it. <laughs> hear ye, hear ye. Come, look, see. This is the battle talus. A creature is sure to shock you when you first meet it. But do not fear. Draw near. This is the only place you can safely admire such a monster up close. The only place. Oh. Monster. Looks like a pile of rocks. Ahem. <laughs> um, this side has stolen your eyes. Now give me your ears, all of them. Once again, this enchanting monster is a battle talus. With a body that looks made out of rock, it doesn't mind that other monsters climb around it and build their nests upon it. It's a generous monster, you see, both in the size of its body and the size of its heart. <laughs> Don't you wish you too could live on top of it? At the very least, I bet you wish you could give it a hug. I know I do. Sadly, they aren't known for enjoying such emotional outpouring, so it's best if you give them a wide berth. Uh... Oh, I wanted to try ride on one. Zip za. <laughs> Look and learn, then you won't hate. Understand what you fear, and you'll feel great. For those with an open mind, wonders always await. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Ooh, the stage has gotten so very busy, and it's all thanks to you. Please take this gift as a sign of my gratitude. A monster bridle. This bridle was handmade by Kilton, but it looks like he may have had some monstrous horse in mind when he made it. It includes a mask that conceals the horse's head. Oh, look, a new special mask for chat. It's something I made a long time ago. I recommend using it on your favorite horse. Ah, and take this as well. Some monster extract. <laughs> so long I dreamed of collecting these sculptures and showing the world how wonderful monsters truly are. <laughs> and now that dream is coming true, all because of you. Thank you. Thank you many times over. Now what do you need? <laughs> Thanks to you, we keep bringing these wonderful monster sculptures to life. My delight is extreme. Ooh. I've got to admit I'm feeling pretty inspired. If you have any other monster pictures, please show them to me. I'm happy to make all sorts of sculptures. <laughs> A grin is sure to grow between my ears if you have any monster pictures Hudson could use to make sculptures. <laughs> I'm so happy we can work together again. I wouldn't mind trying my hand at another large sculpture. <laughs> In that case, I'd love for you to make a frocks. 
Truth be told, when it comes to the frogs, they've only heard secondhand stories, but I'm sure its body is not blobberty, with bumps and lumps and quite gabantic in size. Its gaping mouth goes num -ma -ma mum and it's got big tusks too. And finally, it said the frogs lives deep down the vast dark places. Oh. Big monster, small monster. If I have a detailed picture of the thing, I can make a sculpture of it. A frox. <laughs> I wish I had any clue where the two I fought were. But, of course, I filmed everything, so I can actually uh, look if I wish to. Where I saw them before. It's not too much of an issue for us to find, is it? <laughs> Meanwhile, the races we came for. I'm pretty sure they're done after all. <laughs> One thing I know for sure, the data we collect here will be essential to future Zonai device development. And while it won't be easy, I'm certain we can make the Tarry Town race into something truly outstanding. Oh. oh, there they are. They're the ones I need to speak to them. Saba Saba. What a busy day today was. That was impressive. You're very skilled. The expert course was difficult, even for me. I did not expect you to complete it and beat my time so easily. Oh. There's a lot I can learn from studying your technique. And as long as you're here, surely the research can continue without issue. Shabon and I should be free to leave. I must continue to refine my techniques. Mm. Should I reevaluate how I train my body, or do I need to reconsider how I plan my run on a course? Oy. Hold on, don't go leave me out of the conversation. Aww. Something you want to ask? What's this all about? This isn't the place to talk. Why don't we go somewhere more relaxing? Uh, That's right where we were. I see, so it's a race that takes place on the water. Right, they're off the Lurulin village shore. They're racing on the ocean. I don't know, sounds difficult. Maybe even impossible. Mm -hmm. No, that is not true, Shabon. Racing in a place where there are no roads. Racing on the ocean. No, it is not impossible. Oh. The possibilities are endless. Uh -huh. Well, well, Tali, you're all fired up. But I don't know what to do here. If we just up and la leave this construction site, we'll be leaving Ferneson in the lurch. Mm. I'll be just fine. I was able to get the data I needed thanks to the both of you and this one here too. <laughs> Go out and mount and don't worry about me. Building a race course on the water sounds like fun. I wouldn't want you to miss out. Oh, if you don't mind, could you gather some data from the waterfaring vehicles? Oy. That's a kind offer. Sucks so. I'm willing to bet you'll need lots of equipment to get the water rally up and running. So please take any Zonai devices or building the materials you'll think you'll need from here. Ah. Sucks so. You know, when this project started, I was sure we'd gotten the bad end of the bargain. But nah, this was fun. Oh. It was a valuable experience indeed. I thank you. Ah. No, thank you. Ah, things are quieter around here now. Glad I sent them off with a smile, but the truth is, I still like to get more data. It's... Kind of weirdly interesting that there's an enemy camp. They're just hanging out right there. This close to all this. They coexist. I guess we should be glad for them. The best thing is I still haven't hit the sky tower here yet. Oh well. Did I forget to... I'll never use these travel things we got. I just forget about them every time. Seems about right for me. Huh? Alright, after these quests are done, let's go grab that memory up top. And then head to Lookout Landing, I think. Different dudes are hanging out here now. Valera's not in a fuss or flap anymore, after all. Uh, where? Oh, there you are. I was going to say, where are they located? Lover's Pond is out there? You're not who I'm after. You've not wearing cool shades. They might have changed location because it's nighttime and all. This guy's staring at that photo endlessly. 
Ah, okay. They've put up a a roof, a marquee, or whatever. Oh, have they? That was probably there before. Where are you guys? Legitimately, where are you? Wait, what? You're out there. Oh shoot, I don't have Tulin. I think I see a structure out there. I wonder there's a fair bit of uh, material around. We might need it to build our boat. There they are. Thank goodness for map markers, right? I see. Using the surface of the water like that. Incredible. <laughs> Fascinating indeed. I'm dying to get to work. <laughs> We've got this. No problem. Isn't that right, Tali? Oh. Yes. If we use the village boats, even the children should be able to enjoy it. Huh? Oh. Ah, but it's not savior. I understand we have you to thank for inviting these two. Hi. And good thing too. Now that they're here, this project is sure to be sun and done. Oh. Leave it to us. Oh. It's been a while since I had a big project. I can't wait to show you what I can do. First, I've got to get my noggin in the building zone. Okay, yes, that's it. Shaki. And I'm ready. Let's do this. Neuralin <laughs> Village keeps getting more. Uh -huh. Ta da! Some of my finest work. <laughs> yes, exciting. Yeah. Well, look at that. It's perfect for us. <laughs> it's even more incredible than I imagined it would be. With this in place, Luralin Village is sure to be even more prosperous. Ah. I was already so grateful to you for driving out the pirates and rebuilding the village. I never expected you to do so much more for us. As head of this village, I must thank you once again. Thank you. We are filled with gratitude for you. Now, since you saved our village, there is no fee for you to use the course. Please enjoy it anytime you like. Oh. Moreover, to honor you as our village savior, we shall name this event the Savior's oh, Race. Oh. What? You've got to be kidding. How about something classy like, oh, I don't know, the Lurillian Water Rally? Don't go giving some weird name to a rally we help with. Mm. Lurillian Water Rally is better. Mm. Well then, the Lurillian Water Rally it is. Mm. Now, if you want to give the Lurillian Water Rally a spin, and I'm sure you do, come talk to me anytime. This course is all wash in bowls and charm, and I can't wait for you to try it. Uh -huh. Lively, everyone. Time to get to our stations. Right, the Lurlin Resort Project is complete. Is this or is it not a quest in and of itself? No. Interestingly. So we put some kind of ship into there, do we? Read the Lurlin Water Rally rule book. To successfully complete this rally race, you must touch all the lights and return to the starting point within the time limit. You'll be disqualified if you take your hands off the steering stick or go too far, of course. You can compete with any vehicle you like as long as you use the steering stick that was provided. Once your vehicle is ready, make sure it's floating on the water at the starting line and then speak to the race organizer. The rally begins when the gate is open. What do we have? What am I doing? These don't float, right? They do! I'm going for sleekness now. Uh, maybe it's not actually all that buoyant. Huts. 
Okay, it's not super buoyant. Don't worry. We're gonna add... Wood will make it buoyant, I'm sure. It's got wheels, so it's got road functionality too, you see? I need to put that one further back. I don't know if the wheels work anymore. Okay, it seems to be back heavy. I don't know why. <laughs> don't worry, we'll add a platform. Now the wheels are completely useless. <laughs> okay, scratch that. I wanted the cool part. We're not having that anymore. Oh, blood moon time. The pirates are going to come back. No! We're going to be reset like Majora's Mask. I guess you can only make it back heavy. Bloodstained moon shines upon the land. I'm building a boat here, Zelda. Shut up. The endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. She's not listening. I think she's annoyed again. She remembers that it took me 120 shines to even remotely go and rescue her before, so she's probably a bit annoyed. To be completely honest with you, I can kind of understand her. I'm making a stupid boat. I don't know why I'm putting the batteries off to the side. Do you like my boat? It's rubbish. It is legitimately rubbish. Welcome to Learning Valley Water Rally. As you know, this thrilling event takes place on the open ocean. We have a variety of courses to choose from and encourage you to take the one that floats your boat. Haha. <laughs> Needless to say, you could join the run free of charge. The head of the village would toss me in the ocean if I took money from the village saviour. <laughs> now then, the first thing you need to do is build your own vehicle. You can use the materials we have here if you want. This is your dream machine, so it's up to you. I've made a bad one. Let me know when you're ready and I'll open the gate, okay? Oh, I almost forgot. I've been asked to track the data from this rally race. So make sure you attach the steering stick you were given to the vehicle. I don't think there's even any reward, but... <laughs> May as well do it once, right? <laughs> My boat goes half in the water. <laughs> Uh, I'm ready, guy. Okay, uh, do the expert course. We'll skip to the end. Surely nothing will go wrong. I haven't even tried out this boat. It's a terrible boat. Two minutes and 30 seconds? Touch all the lights and get back. Barely buoyant, this ship is. I mean, it works. Do you reckon the ship has, like, tons of drag? Wait, I don't even need the batteries. There's no battery... Not fair 
fairly good handling. And it handles better than the blooming car we had. Oh, way better. Oh, so it does use batteries. There we go. They're just big batteries. <laughs> New record! Like one minute and seven seconds plus a bit. Uh -huh. Oh, look who cleared the expert course! My heart was thumping the whole time! You deserve a prize, alright? Here's a little something special. Batteries. Mm -hmm. You get this too! A tough salt grilled crab! Mm -hmm. Kiana over at the restaurant put all her heart into making it for the hero of the village. That's you, by the way. If it's fantastic flavors you fancy, be sure to make your way to Azure Bay. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we get three courses, but we've already done the expert one. <laughs> what a thrill that was. Please come back and do that again any old time. Well, I don't know if that's all the quests in the region. Or not. And now the racers are out here having a great time. We'll be back here, actually. I'm going to nip off straight away. Right, so there should be the thing out here, right? So if we, uh, why is the stamp here? Why is that stamp there? Why is it there? Let's go get a memory. And then it's over to Lookout Landing. We're going to report that we saved Lurie Village. Not only have we saved it, we have completely repaired it. We've gone above and beyond the call of duty for that place. <laughs> There can be no complaints. Fanny, I should write down what my stamps are for. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, that's a great fairy. Right, I'm pretty sure I've already been on those islands, haven't I? Someone's up here with me. Uh, just a triple check. It is this one next. After the sword, it is the indescribable... I don't know, alien? <laughs> I know, big bird, it's got hands. Could be a helmet. It's the few shadows, I don't know. Right, is there any one of these that is looking very filled in at the moment? I mean, one of them is the different direction than all the others. There's quite a lot of them. I haven't spotted it yet. One of the hands? God, all the thumbs and nails have them. Maybe I'm too far away still. 